All-Star Ham Radio. Hey everybody, it's Freddie Mac, and, and we're back with All-Star Mobile Setups. I'm getting a lot of questions, a lot of questions about how my mobile All-Star is set up. And yeah, it's not perfect. It looks a little janky, but I'm in the uh, production stage. I'm in the prototypical stage of my setup, so bear with me. Yes, I know I haven't shaved. I'm retired now. That comes and goes. I mean, it's gonna happen eventually, so. Let's go out to the truck and take a look at it, shall we? Say hello to Henry, everybody. This is Henry, everybody. Sorry for any wind noise you may concur, incur, incur, yeah. This is the uh, Crusader Cruiser, if you would, the 2019 Ram pickup. And it is what it is, but it works for me. I mean, let's look into here. Where, where is it? Where's my mobile all-star setup? Well, you could see it if you looked under here. So take a look at this. And this is the prototypical setup. Now what I did, I ran a uh, positive and a negative straight off the battery underneath the truck and up through the floor and this is my FTM 500. This is my Anytone UV, see TH, UV 5888, or something like that. It's my tri-band. These are the power wires for it. Right here, well, let's go around to the other side. Right here, if you can see it, is a buck converter. It converts 12 volts down to five volts DC. And it's turned on right there. And right now it's powering up my Shari Pi Hat, my mobile hotspot, my Pi Star. This switch right here goes to a relay that will, ooh, that's nice and dirty, that powers this charger that will charge this 10 amp hour battery. So I just built these little platforms. They're not screwed onto the floor. They just have little feet under them and they rest on the carpet. The weight of them, now this middle section is separate from the end sections, but they are tied together with some plumber's tape. Like I said, the wires are kind of janky right now because I wanted to get the setup right. Now, this whole setup, with the exception of the radios, this whole setup gets its power from this battery exclusively. And if the battery is sitting and runs down and I've got the engine running, I reach over here, flip this switch, and it lets this thing, this charger, charge this battery. Now, this charger gets its power from right here. The truck has a built-in inverter and that cable runs underneath this carpet and to right here and powers this this charger in the mornings when it's cold you can hear the fan in this thing kind of rumble a little bit for about a minute and then it straightens right up and in the summertime it'll never make a sound this battery on its own fully charged will power all this stuff for you know, probably four hours maybe longer. Sometimes if this is charged up, I will take the power and unplug it and just let it run off its own battery. But right now it's about half spent, have it plugged in. So when the truck starts up, this stuff is, uh, if I've been going for a while and the truck starts up, this stuff's most likely already running. But at night, when I get in, turn the truck off and I just come over here, And I power off the buck converter, which powers off the Shari, powers off the Pi Star. Well, this will stay on because it's got its own battery. So meanwhile, I'll come back here and push and hold. 
and it will boot down. So when I start the truck up in the morning, I make sure this is off. Probably don't need to, but I do it anyway. Truck's good and going. I'll turn that on. The charger will start charging the battery if it deems that it needs it. And I'll probably replace this with a bigger relay. It doesn't get very warm, but it's not necessarily meant for continuous duty. I have found some relays that are about that much bigger that are intended for continuous duty. Now, let's see. That's about the long and short of it. And I'm gonna clean it up, the wires and whatnot, and replace this cheap wire with some real wire that I put this bus bar in here so that I could tie. I don't know if you can tell it or not that this is kind of fragile in its current state, but like I said, it's prototypical. I bought these pigtails off of Amazon. They're C-type pigtails where they just provide power. They don't provide data. And I've got one plugged into the Shari. I've got one plugged into the mobile hotspot from FirstNet. And I've got another plugged into the Pi Star. Except it's not Type-C, it's micro USB. And it all works pretty darn good. So far it's been great. Nothing's glitched. And I've been running it for several months, but it's time to clean it up. That will be coming in the next video. But as you can see, with the seats down, I can still put the grandkids back there for the most part. Let's go take a look at the radios. I've been asked a few times to show this off and I'll be honest with you. Yeah, it's a little janky, but it is what it is. And I'll put a link in the description, but this base right here is from a company called Bullet Point. When I bought it, they were called Bulletproof. And they're cell phone mounts. They make them for Ram trucks, Jeeps, and a few other select vehicles. But this one looks perfect because it gives me two mounting points, two mounting bars that pivot on a ball socket. So I had my FTM 300 in here to begin with. When I sold it to replace it with the FTM 500, I kind of had to improvise, adapt, and overcome. And this right here is basically the jaws that squeeze apart and keep tension on your phone. Well, they weren't strong enough by themselves. So I made these blocks put them in these jaws, mounted the, the FTM 500 control head to it and the uh, Anytone control head to it, and then put a zip tie around the whole jaws of everything and clinched them together so they didn't come apart. And yeah, the blocks look a little janky, but that's gonna get replaced as time goes by. And I still have one extra place to hang a walkie as I go down the road. Then some my extension wires, they all run down in behind the screen. And they come out down here at the bottom where I have a Lido mount for my mic. This gray cord you see is my charger for my phone. Fixing to replace it with a shorter magnetic. And this USB cable you see right here is for my dash cam that I have out of here right at the moment. I'm fixing to put it back in here any minute. But this Lido mount. And there's the speaker for my FT or my uh, Anytone. This Lido mount just bolts into one of the bolts of your front seat and I'm telling you this sucker's rock solid and the bar is flexible so that you can move it pretty much wherever you want and it's right in a perfect spot away from everything and I can maneuver it just you know so that I'm comfortable with it in the vehicle these cords you see right here which need to be fixed because I yanked on them a while ago which made me think about making this video and then I didn't fix it before I did these are the extension cables for my control heads or for the microphone for the Anytone and for the microphone for the FTM 500, but they work. But right there is the FTM 500 and the Anytone. It's not perfect, but it works for me. Yeah, and before you ask, the uh, positive and negative line that I ran directly from the battery into the cab is fused. So don't give me no grief, y'all. It is what it is works very well and I made it very safe. All-Star Mobile is probably my go-to mode on the go. I can connect to anywhere via DTMF. I use a little app that I'll put on the screen that I can't find right now because I'm using my phone for a camera. <laughs> like I may have showed it before, but it's pretty stinking cool. I have another video about it I'll link into the screen. But now, with all that said, here are some special considerations that you want to think about if you have a mobile All-Star unit. I don't want to use a walkie while I'm driving down the road. I want to be able to use my mobile to talk over my All-Star, and my All-Star is in close proximity of my mobile radio's antenna. 
So take that mobile radio, you tune it into the frequency of your all-star node, but put it on the lowest amount of power possible. The lowest power output the radio can do, put it on that, you'll talk into it with great ease. Same goes for your mobile Pi Star. Put your mobile radio on the lowest power setting. Do yourself a favor and keep it running for a good long time. Also, I know I only have a 10 amp hour LiPo battery in the back and it's a cheap one. I wanted to test it out and make sure it worked really good. I would put as big a battery as you could fit under that back seat. Now, if you have a situation to where you can put it in a trunk or something like that, do it. Uh, you're only gonna have more capacity while you're on the go. But as you're driving along, if you've got the switch turned on to the relay, your charger's charging your battery. So if you get to a campsite, a POTA site, or a whatever, whatever situation there may be, you can let the whole operation run off of a battery, off of that battery, and you'll have it for a good long time. I'm pretty sure Jason, K KC5HWB, runs a 100 amp hour battery in his truck. If I can make one fit in mine, geez, if I could afford one. Anyway, <laughs> I would have one by all means. The more capacity, the better. And my Shari Pi Hat, you is uh, got it has a small antenna it does half watt or one watt and i believe i have mine set at half watt but nonetheless it has a an sma connector on it i'm going to run a pigtail off of that and put it onto an outside antenna i'm going to switch it back and forth because as i'm going down the road and i'm talking on my mobile i don't want them two feet apart but when i get to a campsite or to a poda park or something like that i want to hook up the external antenna and give myself a little more range probably don't need it but hey make it as efficient as possible just something to think about y'all all star mobile in your vehicle you got a better way to do it put it in the comments you got a way you have another way of doing it put it in the comments how can i improve mine i already know most of that but hey put it in the comments hey all star mobile works really good and you could cross bridge it in there if you want to another day uh oh it's time for jason's live stream so let's get out of here this is freddie mac your ham radio crusader saying seven threes wishing all the good signals to be yours and ham on y'all <laughs>